Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, and I'm playing Star Citizen. Uh, this week, the Arena module, or a very preliminary pre-alpha version of it, version 0.8, released, uh, giving backers of the game f uh, their first chance of not only getting in the ship, but actually taking it out for a run in space. I wanted to quickly show you, this of course is the hangar. We first got our look at this last year in the hangar module. And uh, I haven't logged in in a long time, but I see all the stuff that was awarded to backers and a few other things have been added. Got uh, th the flight jacket, flight suit here. This was one of the uh, stretch goals. And you know, you can look at your equipment in here. Just go up to it and press F. You can see your boots, belt, uh, well, sidearm holster, I guess. This, I don't even know what this is. A menu system you can look through your ships you have um, and weapon systems I guess oh, all the stuff in your hangar I guess because there's two if you look over here oh, it got really dark Let me turn this off hang on F. Just turn the lights back on right yeah so there's an Aurora here this is the 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 most basic cheapest ship you can buy there's a second Aurora over there I don't know why there are two I think I'm only supposed to have one. And on the far side of it, you see some standing targets. There's a gun turret you can play with over there, but we're not going to look at that now. Uh, you get your aquarium. This was added for fun a while back. And then, the, so in order to play Arena Commander, if you actually want to fly your ship, you need to come over here and come to this little pedestal and see your helmet. You have to pick it up. You must have this um, in order to play. And this is a little thank you. So ba early backers will have that little thank you card as well. So now that I have my helmet, if I look around, look down, you can sort of see the bottom of my helmet there with the RSI logo. You need that in order to actual, actually fly because it provides a lot of your uh, HUD heads-up display features in-game. So you go up to your ship. Doors already open. Press F to aboard. Um, there are still a little bit of graphical control glitches and jankiness when you get walk around the hangar and try to get on your ship. It's all it's not the nicest, but again, I'm in a very tightly confined ship. Um, anyways. Walk up to your pilot seat, press F to take a seat, hang on. See the graphics on the right there, down there? It's like flashing in and out, so they still haven't fixed that. Again, this is a like pre-alpha, just test to let backers try the ships. And so I thought I'd show you. So, um, as soon as you get in and sit down, if you have your helmet on, the Arena Commando, uh, Commander thing will pop up with this options. Uh, if you do not see this, and you have the helmet on, don't worry. I actually had uh, some issues starting it up. Um, I had some issues downloading the client once I got in. This menu would not show up. Uh, I had to exit, re-enter, exit, re-enter, and then it finally worked. So just give it a give it a few chances and give it some time. Uh, you just got to be patient. Remember, this is a crowdfunded, uh, open development type game. So um, this is only here because there are a lot of players who really want to get um, some some flight time with their ship. So it's a fun little thing to try out. So uh, Spectrum Match, I believe, is the multiplayer stuff. It's not activated yet. They are rolling it out very slowly, so a small amount of players will be able to actually play multiplayer, and they'll keep adding players to that. Uh, so we go to Drone Sim, uh, and you have two options. So Free Flight Mode. Oh, there's more than one map. Nice. So you get two map choices. I was using the Broken Moon one, but uh, that looks pretty cool, too. This one looks a little brighter, so we'll fly that one. Uh, so you have Free Flight Mode. If you just want to go out there and learn the controls, uh, you can do that in this mode as well. This is the Vanduul Swarm. You get to fight those little alien ships with the one big wing. It was one of the first ships revealed back when the game was first announced two years ago. Um, so yeah, I think you'll fly against three, maybe more drones uh, in this mode. So we'll do that. Just take a look. And if you do not have a joystick and you still want to play this game, you can. You can just plug in uh, a gamepad like an Xbox 360 controller or, you know, Razer Sabretooth, which is the same design as a 360 controller. And you can even play with your mouse and keyboard. Um, that's a good way to try it out right now because right now the joystick controls are pretty messed up and there's no way seemingly to remap the buttons or the axes. So uh, I'm going to play with the joystick just for fun here. But I can show you the mouse and keyboard as well because both are actually active at the same time. But when you're using the mouse and keyboard, you're basically just kind of using your mouse to point, point where you want your ship to go. Uh, and then you can use the WASD to throttle up and down and then roll. Sounds like it's loading. Welcome to Robert's Here we Space go. Industries. So I'm using the mouse right now to move around my crosshair. Left trigger to fire. These lasers are white, but they're supposed to be green. There they are. Okay. Uh, if you have more weapons, right click will be your secondary guns or your other primary weapon. And then your center click will be your missiles. So I got some AI friendlies. You see Vixen over there to the left. 
Uh, see how the ship just went left like that? So just by pointing the mouse to the side you can, you can move your ship, and then the weapons are on, uh, they're not forward mounted on this ship, the Aurora, so I can, I got some aiming, which is pretty, pretty nice, and if you have, like, the Hornet, which is actually made as a fighter, it's, uh, wing mounted machine guns, and it's, uh, you know, center hull weapons uh, all move around as well. Uh, so, I will switch to the joystick right now, and then I can show you some of the views. So, uh, I'm using an Extreme 3D Pro from Logitech, pressing the 6 key beside the hatch in the top right, uh, the hat switch I mean, you can look at your view here. So, the weird thing about this is that it's actually using, uh, controls of a real airplane, so, when I twist, it's controlling the yaw instead of rolling, uh, you know, sort of like playing War Thunder, or World of Warplanes, or in any old flight sim. Uh, for space sims, like the old Wing Commanders, or the, you know, the X-Wing versus TIE Fighter games, or Star Lance, or any of those games, even Free Space 2, this should control the roll, because you're in space. Um, it's hard to tell, because this is a funky looking ship, but there are th moving thrusters all over the, the top and bottom. I think you can, might see a few there. You can change views, the front view. It's hard, you can't really see much. And then uh, press it again. There you go. Actually, I'm going to switch back to the mouse, so you can see these guns move, see? Pretty cool, right? So this is not really a great f um, fighting ship, but um, if you had the Hornet, that would be look really, really cool. So, we'll stop messing around. R, the target nearest enemy. Scanning. Just gonna head there. And this game is going to support Oculus Rift, and that'll be- hold on, sir. I'm just trying to learn these controls here a little bit. Alright. So, three bogeys down there fighting our two friends. It's a three-on-three -three battle. Oh, wow. So the controls, see it? Look, the sensitivity is just crazy. Um, okay, this is roll. There we go. So we're pretty far away. Uh, you see the throttle? It's just to the left of the crosshair there. You can see at a 100% speed, this thing goes 80. Um, and then I can press shift on the keyboard to activate a afterburner. I don't know if that's mapped to my joystick. It doesn't seem like it is, but... Um, I can't really control that. So, hang on, before I engage, if you go here, you go to key bindings, you can take a look at what the things are. Uh, there's no way to change any of these, which is really, really lame, but I'm sure that's coming in the next update. Uh, here is the controls if you're playing on a gamepad. Again, you cannot remap. The biggest problem is that you cannot remap this. Oh, here you go. Afterburner is the number seven button. Cool. All right, back to the fight. Need to close the gap here. Uh, for some reason, I can't turn off the mouse either, it seems. Um, so I just gotta center it, and then I'll switch back to my joystick. So I just wanna, like, go left a little bit, and I move the twist, it goes a lot. So it's just out of control. Alright, close in on this guy. And you'll see the lasers will sort of auto-target, sort of like a missile system, once I get it in close range. Uh, the frame rate is not very good right now. It's at like 15 or 20. We lost a friendly. So as soon as I get the green diamond, oh, see how it follows him a little bit. All right, let's get this guy. It's a vandal fighter with the one big wing. Ooh, wow, it's sloppy. Tells you damage readout because you're just playing a simulation mode. I don't think that'll be there when you're playing the main game. There we go. One enemy down. Press R. Target the next enemy. With the big orange 3D uh, triangle pointing. A triangle, but an arrow pointing to where he is. So if you lose your target, just find that little arrow on your screen. See, it's in the top there, and you can find your target pretty quickly. Wow, I'm sorry about the frame rate. It is, again, pre-alpha build. I keep trying to um, <laughs> do the yaw, but I rotate back. So then, as my joystick controls are messed. Oh, wow. Approaching a sim boundary. Yeah, the maps aren't that large. So you can see the border of it right there, that honeycomb effect. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. It also gives you warnings if you're going to collide with, uh, you know, enemy craft or asteroids or something. Whoa, buddy. Oh. Okay. Uh, I just want to... Oh, see? It's overcompensating a lot. So right now it's sort of like a fly-by wire system where you're just moving where you're pointing. Um, you of course can turn that off and control the thrusters in a way that you can like sort of strafe left and right. You can even reverse your ship uh, in space. Sort of like actually commanding a space shuttle. 
Actually, it's very reminiscent of Battlestar Galactica. If you ever watch that show, you can watch uh, the new show I'm talking about. The Ronald D. Moore version, not the 70s version. Um, you can see, like, the individual thrusters on them. On the Vipers and the Star Vipers, which is a very interesting detail. So you can see how they actually should move in space. Oh! A couple hits on them, I think. Still got his shields up, so once I bust that down... be able to hit his hull and get some damage. Uh, so on the left of the screen, you can see the readout of my Aurora ship, and underneath that you see the two weapons, the bearing M3 lasers. Oh, jeez, sorry, I'm not paying attention. But, look at the percentage. That percentage is how much charge you have in your gun, so as I fire, it drops. So you can basically hold down the trigger, fire rapid fire until it hits zero, and it'll quickly recharge. Wow, this guy's got crazy shield systems. Collided there a little bit. Uh, I may have lost some thrusters. Hang on a sec. No, I'm good. I'm good. You, they can blow off like a wing or a couple individual thrusters, and you just lose control of your ship. And then you have to eject, get a new ship. He backed off when I hit him. Oof, this is taking longer than I wanted, but we will destroy these fools. Oh my god, the controls. Like I said, really bad. Oh, no. He was spinning out of control towards me. Let's get back around. So, uh, yeah, when Oculus Rift is added, you'll be able to, like... Oh, got some good hits there. How is he still alive? I was hoping to see him explode and the debris fly past me. He's flying away. A lot of chasing going on here. See, when he's just left of me, it's really hard to kind of get centered on him again because of the, uh... Man, he just keeps recharging his shields, I think. It's hard to finish him off. Again, the Aurora I'm using is, like, the least equipped vehicle. It doesn't have any missiles. It's got really lame, weak lasers. Oh. See, my, my lasers aren't firing fast because they need to recharge. Wow, I'm too close to that beam, Impact. I think. Alright. It's like that beam from Star Trek, the first J.J. Abrams Star Trek. I don't know what's going on. Space station mining the planet or something? I oh, got some damage. Yeah, 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 warning. Ugh, come on. Mm, got a couple hits in there. Die. Impact. Oh, he, again, he was spinning out of control, but he keeps recovering. One damage, alright. Ugh. I gotta say, my hand is getting sore on this stupid joystick. Come on, blah blah blah, chasing him. This is where I would love to just like fly in reverse for a second and totally mess with him. Oh wow, this is taking so long. Come on. Need to, maybe I should just invest to buy another better ship. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Impact. Oh, finally. Stand by. Scan. All right. One more fool left. You can tell right away how pretty the heads-up display and how good this is going to look in 3D when you have the Oculus Rift on. Uh, when you do have the Oculus Rift, you'll be able to look at your targets to lock on with missiles. And, of course, you'll be able to look around your cockpit as well, which is nice. I feel like you're actually in it. I had the chance to try that with Eve Valkyrie. Or at the time, it was called Eve VR. Uh, last year's Eve 3, that game's uh, in development by CCP Games. Oh, they've hit his engines there a little bit. Oh, my energy. 
ran out. I gotta recharge. Uh, yeah, and with EVR, it was amazing with the Oculus Rift, being able to, like, look behind you and see, like, out the sort of back window of your, of your cockpit. Alright, cool. So, hey, that's a first look at Arena Commander, the long-awaited, repeatedly delayed <laughs> dogfighting module for Star Citizen. Uh, this will be updated very quickly, and they're already taking feedback, so if you have questions or you want more information on this, or you have... Uh, some criticisms, ideas, head to the forums. The developers are very, very good and open about uh, taking all the feedback and asking for questions. And this game, uh, you know, is one of those games where the words are true, that it's, you know, made for gamers by gamers. And uh, it's a cool development process. It's nice to see Space Sims coming back. Uh, through this game in particular, I was funded by fans, and it already is the biggest budget Space Sim video game of all time. Uh, and it's cool. I'm so happy it's this type of game because uh, I'm sure like a lot of gamers out there I grew up playing a lot of Chris Roberts's games like uh, Everything from Wing Commander to Freelancer and Starlancer. I played other games like that all the X-Wing and TIE Fighter games and X-Wing Alliance and Free Space and Descent all these cool games. So uh, this one's looking promising But uh, just be patient with it if you if you're having issues with it. Just keep just keep trying restart reinstall um, It'll work and updates will make it more polished, but uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. It's cool to see this, even though I have like the worship in the game. So, uh, until next time, like and subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments with your thoughts on Star Citizen, and let us know if you're back or two, because maybe we can play one day. See you next time.